Whoa. A crashed freighter underwater? Oh, man. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 36, where we are refining all of this rust into ferrite dust, so that we have plenty of ferrite for expanding our base. Now the big question is, are we going to require another foundation here? doesn't seem like it because it's not snapping too but what if I do the frame the frame doesn't want to snap to either oh it does snap to that that's interesting or we could just snap this there which it looks like that wants to dock to that um, but before we do all of that we're going to let this refine, and while it's refining, we'll make sure we have some room in our inventory. Uh, which we do have some. So we're going to move this ferrite dust to our high capacity inventory here. Oh, we never got the paraffinium for the quest. Oh, that's fine. There's only so many things we can do at a time. No, we're going to go to this abandoned building and figure out what blueprint our overseer wants to teach us. Um, so as I stated, you can see that bay does indeed lead to the deeper waters. Whoa. A crashed freighter underwater? Oh, man. That's pretty cool. Let's let's not let's not get distracted though. Let's let us stay on course for what we're trying to do here. Another crashed freighter underwater. No. Mustn't get distracted. I'm sure all of that'll be much easier once we have once we have a submarine. Is there anywhere to land? No. Oh, this is one of those hateful buildings. All right, well, let's save and chart the Odeniso Rainforest. We're going to leave these whispering eggs alone. Open up a few of these containers here. Damaged machinery. Pure ferrite. Got you covered. 28 nanite clusters. Your standing with the Corvax has increased. Very good. Let's go into this room and oh my. Ooh, ow! Mm. They always get me, don't they? Are you not going to let me interact with this? No, this plant is going to beat me up over and over again until my shields go down. What the heck? Life support gel. Condensed carbon. Really? You're not going to let me interact with this? Fine. You know what? I didn't want to interact with it anyways. Yeah, exactly. Shield down. So we're just going to access the forgotten terminal. Uh, life support doesn't really require recharging yet, so we're going to hold off on that. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Oh, the goop. 
move that over to the high capacity inventory. User identified terminal active accessing schematics. The place the overseer has led me to has long since fallen into disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath the same oily pulsating fauna that I have seen before in long abandoned buildings. The air is fetid and damp. I power up the terminal with little hope of success, but to my surprise, it buzzes noisily and springs to life. My overseer's intuition has served me well so far. I shall have to trust that these schematics contain the required data. Okay. Before we take off, though, we're going to head up here and learn a new word. Corvac's word for fascinating. Oh, there's another one over there. This planet is just littered with alien artifacts. I love it, though. I do. We so desperately need to learn so much more of their language. Corvac's word for atlas. There's another one even still. Oh, hello. Sen oh, sentient plants. Mm, I think we'll pass on that for now. Oh, what do we? What have we here? Another abandoned building. No. I think that's a bridge too far. Corvax word for station. Oh, look, there's another one. We'll learn words to and from our aircraft. I'm sorry, spacecraft. I mean, it flies in the air, too, but... Corvac's word for oxides. Universal Translator learned a hundred words. We're getting there, we're just not there yet. Oh, these are the star bulb plants. Those are cool. I want some of this condensed carbon, though. Critters! Here, another one. Nope, already been scanned. A lot of alien artifacts and underground blueprints in this area. It's so hard to just come somewhere and then go back when there's so many things. Those are actually rather far away. Another alien artifact, though. And yet another one. Corvac's word for bless. Okay. Output screen requires chromatic metal. We have that. Nanite clusters. Very good. Uh, I'm anxious to fly back. But there are both alien artifacts and buried technology modules in this direction. Life form? Nope, that's the one with barnacles on its skin. Oh, this would have been a good area for a base. Look at this. Nice and flat. Of 
Orvac's word for interruption. Just in case they want to tell you how irritated they are. Sure, I'll repair that. 34 nanite clusters. I really do like this planet a lot. All right, let's get this buried technology module. Sort of right over here. We'll grab some sodium along the way. Very good. Couple of Ridgeback runners. More alien artifacts. My goodness. Well, this is really going to help us out with our vocabulary. Corvax word for imminently, and the word for awakes. See what this machine requires. Sodium nitrate. Got that. More nanite clusters. Why this building is just a wonderful spot. Look at that. Two buried technology modules close together. There you go. We'll take the jetpack power surge. Whoa, creatures. Behavior docile. Thank goodness. Isn't there another one, like, right next to it? Oh, uh, it's a little past it. Not much. Okay. Armored clams. Oh, what have we here? Another abandoned building. Alright, I think it's safe to say we can head back now. Let's go ahead and reload our bolt caster just for fun. Any more buried blueprints over here? I think those were the alien artifacts we've already found. Alright, let's go back to our ship. I think that's pretty good for covering this area. Alright, so let's head back. back to the base, relay our success, overfly all these crashed freighters in the ocean, I can only imagine how deep that part of the water gets there. Okay, okay. 
right here is good. Wonderful. Probably didn't need to land that far away from everything, but... Oh, wait a second. Why have we stopped? Right, let's actually start making some pure ferrite. Please and thank you. And before I talk to you... Well, no, let's talk to you first. Old resource analyst, us navels. You're back. I'm so glad, friend. I will extract the storage blueprint as soon as I have the data. It's good to see the Gek is so invested in the success of our home. They're clearly happy to see me, energized for the task at hand. There you go. Here's your blueprint as promised. A trivial task. Their code was just sitting there to be manipulated. Containers received. Nine items learned. Spacious additional storage for inventory items. Okay. Now then, do you think, friend, that we should put that science terminal to use? Fill our home with the clicks and lights of the Corvax? It would be so lovely. The overseer feels the base would benefit from a Corvax scientist. They would like to see good use made of the blueprint they worked so hard on. I agree. So glad we had this chat, friend. Um, hire a scientist, but don't we have to... Let's build the extra room first, huh? What if I put paraffinium in there? Oh, that just turns it to ferrite dust. Yuck. Oh, it says more rusted metal, or we do the ferrite dust. There we go. Oh, so close. Yet so far. Okay, well, we only need 23, or 22, so. Pretty sure we've got it covered. And then, would I now put the foundation under it? For 150, it looks like it. Or we could build it down one into the ground by adding... Oh, that's interesting. We have pavings? We can just put out, like, a little paving here? Um... Yeah, we'll leave it there for now. I'm not sure how I feel about that, though. But I am going to do another foundation here, because why not? Boom. Look at that. And as we cross into here, we have a whole other room. Room for activities. Equipment, specialist terminals, science terminal. Oh, we're short on that chromatic metal. Well, we're not going to go hire our friend just yet. Let's process more chromatic metal. Oh, are we out of copper? Well, we certainly are, aren't we? Okay, well, we'll process some sodium nitrate while we wait. Because we also need to gather some paraffinium. There's copper and paraffinium over here. Although, to be fair, I was pretty sure that we had fully exhausted the copper deposit that was in this direction. 
Ooh, the Atralic Jungle. It doesn't look much like a jungle. Oh no, there's copper, sodium, paraffinium. Oh, that copper deposit's untouched. This little inland lake here. Get some condensed carbon. And now for the copper. The sentinel is like, you cannot dare shoot a laser at a rock on the ground, but if you want to carve a giant hole in the earth where this copper deposit is, that I'm okay with. You knock yourself right, right out. You have a blast. Do whatever you gotta do. Okay. I'm gonna use some of that pure ferrite. a bit of copper. And now we have to use the ferrite dust. Um, well, no, I think what we'll do instead is we'll get some of the pure ferrite out of these rocks here. Because there's also a paraffinium to be had. Ooh, birds. Already been scanned. Okay. I have a pretty good feeling the rest of the life forms are going to be somewhere in the deeper parts of the ocean. If I had to guess, that's ferrite dust. It's all ferrite dust. That might be enough to get the paraffinium we need. Again, it's not a very big deposit. That sentinel is just hanging out watching me like, no, you're good. You're just tearing up the earth. You're not shooting a rock, so that's okay. As long as you're not shooting a rock or a tree. Well, there's our paraffinium to deliver. Okay, then we'll have to head on back. Not another alien artifact. No, no, no. Oh, we've got two structures! It's starting to look good. We haven't even gone to the other planets yet. Oh. Superheated rainstorm. Oh, 
Alright, I will take the sodium nitrate and I will raise you some copper for chromatic metal purposes. We'll fill up that condensed carbon. And then we'll spend some of our blueprints here. Yeah, with what? Let's do the T-shaped corridor. I like that. Hmm, two different square rooms. An X-shaped corridor. Oh, wow. Oh, we need a lot more underground blueprints. And then we've got to do this Exocraft summoning station. Yeah, we're going to have to get a lot more underground blueprints. That's okay. All in due time. All right, let's get back out of the boiling rain. Let's see, it's gonna be under equipment, specialist terminals. We've already built a construction terminal. How about a science terminal? Yeah. Science terminal requires a skilled scientist for operation. You can recruit scientists in space stations with Cor within Corvax controlled systems. Wouldn't you know it? That's the si that's the system we're in. Okay, let's look at some of these other missions that we have. Base computer has continued its archive recovery program. Data is recovered periodically and converted into buildable blueprints. We already did the dogfight. That requires... Uh, that requires a moon without an atmosphere. This is in another sector. Raid a planetary harvester and steal the data. Paraffinium, hire a base scientist. Okay, so let's go to the base computer. We're going to search these base computer archives for, for blueprints. All right. Uh, let's just take a glance at how far away we are first. Oh yeah, that ancient ruin's off planet. I'm not going to sweat that. See, pretty sure we've already been to this drop pod. But I want to fly over, verify that it's the one we've already looked at. Which I'm almost positive that it is. And then we can get it to come to disappear off of our HUD and go away, so we're not looking at it anymore. But if it's the same one, it's going to be in this little basin up here. Yup. Yeah, we've been here. We've done this one. I guess we'll land just to make sure that it logs and that it goes away. Destination reached. It is, in fact, empty. Okay. Are we, lo are we that low on tritium? Oh, we are. Might have to spend some time asteroid mining, perhaps. Um, wait, that's my base? So 
So the mission is to go to my base computer? I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Okay, well, let's check it out and see what it says. Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered 6% new data available. Search archives. Entry 4925X follows. Found additional buried technology modules. Construction proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition yielded blank. Copying data to blank. Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. Base technology data extracted. Downloading plans. Storage container plans restored. Uh, okay. We'd kind of already done that, I thought. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. Well, no, I'm not going to build a storage container yet. Oh, I guess I should in case... Okay. No, it's not there. Equipment, storage. Wow, that's a lot. So we can just dock it on top. There's absolutely no room for it inside. Okay, but we need some magnetized ferrite to make this happen. We don't even have any more pure ferrite. Okay, well we'll worry about building the storage when we get back then. Let's go get it. Let's go recruit a scientist. Go ahead and depart with the sunrise. All right, let's get a lock on the space station. Oop. There we go. They still want us to go to that super critical planet. We will. I mean, we will. We're not going to leave the system without at least swinging by and checking out the planets in it. I just really like my tropical planet. Boom. That's our space station. There it is. What are the odds that we just happen to be in a Corvax controlled system when we're trying to hire a scientist? I wonder if they set it up that way on purpose. then that means we probably won't be able to recruit the next one. Hmm. Let's make sure we're on the proper proper quests. Learn how to construct microprocessors and hire a scientist for your base. That's my base. Ruins, capital ship. No, we need a scientist. Chief scientist entity. Corvax entity Buchi. They're casting white and dim, but as they turn to talk, their, their mask becomes momentarily blank. They seem to want to communicate. 
Hey, what do you got for me? I'll barter with you. Ooh, a Tetra Cobalt. Um, let's leave. They're not interested in talking to me. So do I just have to talk to each scientist, or... I guess I'm not sure how this is going to go. Well, let's turn in our guild mission before we forget. Hand in missions. How did the dog fight? Standing with the Mercenaries Guild has increased. Oh, wait a second. Hold on a minute. Uranium. What about the other one? Ah, uh, there we go. I just had to select the mission for it to register that it was complete. Deliver the paraffinium to the secure depot. Ooh. We have to deliver the goods. And it looks like it's on... not on the planet with our base. Ooh, I should have known. Okay. That's well enough. We might go grab some uranium from the supercritical planet, because we have to deliver that as well. So how do we know which scientist wants to work at our base? They're stuck in a loop. Attempt to startle. They don't notice. Okay. I have no idea who I can hire and who I can't. Something fascinating, something intelligence traveler. Oh, I almost understood a whole communication. Their facial lights constrict. I uh, can't offer a gift or barter with you. I bid farewell, then. Do I have enough rep with the Mercenaries Guild, maybe, that you'll sell me something now? Nope. No trades, not yet. Let's read this. Establish the core of a habitable base out in the wilds. The planet seems a suitable place to settle down, at least for the time being. I should expand and staff my base if I am to make a success out of my new home. Staff are available to hire in space stations. Uh, let's go check the back room, actually. The back room where the Gek, where I hired the Gek seems like a different group than the one that's out on the floor with the guild and and these behind the counters of the trade area surely they're not gonna wait uh, they won't let me talk to us navels he's not really here right now it's all an illusion I don't suppose you want to come work for me do you Well, I will take dialogue help. Corvax word for technology. Uh -huh. I'm the Viking. I don't really care. Is there anything worth selling? Mm, no, I, th I think I think we're good for the most part. I do want to check to see what does it cost to make a pulse spitter. It takes one technology module, and then a plasma launcher takes one as well. Okay. Well, how do I know who's available for hire? None of these vendors are going to be available for hire. That's not a thing. It's got to be one of these on the other side. I suppose I'll just have to speak with everybody again. Yes, it's me. Research entity Yanak. Um, I'll compliment you. 
Mm, okay. About operations entity Azimovis. I don't understand anything you're saying. I'll just leave. Maybe they added somebody into this room? Hmm. Pretty sure I've spoken with everybody. Um, I'll ask for directions. Sure. Trading post detected. Where? Mm, back on my planet. Okay. No, we're not going to go through the station terminus. Fascinating intelligence traveler. I have nothing for you. Corvax Convergence Fascinating Traveler. Okay. And I can do nothing with you. Okay. Nobody wants to come work for me. Uh, perhaps we're just not lucky enough. What, I've spoke to everybody? Pretty sure. I'm positive I've spoke with everyone. Even the chief scientists doesn't want to come work for me. Okay, well, apparently it's not this space station. It's not somebody we're going to get anytime soon. Or at least not immediately right now. So we could go get some uranium and then deliver the paraffinium to its drop-off site. Uh, but that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. This has been No Man's Sky episode 36. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching because, as always, I've had a good time playing. Be sure to drop a like if you have had a good time watching, and subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already done so. But until next time, take care.